All right, if everything is working correctly from streaming at the moment, um, it's this weird thing for me where I don't actually have, know how to know whether it's actually streaming successfully until I see this thing preview 10 seconds later. So maybe someone could tell me. Yeah, there you go. It's showing an ad, which means I think that means it's working. So let's pick up where we were before. I had done a little bit of cleanup on train remote. Um, I don't actually know what the password is for that. <clears throat> Not that, apparently. Okay. Um, I'd done a little bit of cleanup on this, um, and so my, uh, that's the wrong one, what is it? Um, I think I'd just done a little bit of cleanup on here. Yeah, I just did a little bit of cleanup while we were watching, so let's just, uh, quick changes while streaming. Um, so... I know I'm supposed to be watching people chatting, but I don't really know. This doesn't, I don't know if this is the right thing. Is that right? Is that a chat? It looks like a viewer list. It doesn't look like a chat. Channel chat, Matt Stafford. Yes, maybe that's a chat. I feel like it was a chat. I should be able to chat on it. All right, Twitch people. <laughs> if you're like chatting at me and I'm not seeing it here, uh, buzz me on Twitter and I'll know what's going on. So I had a few people give me a little bit of feedback on Twitter. Um, so I wanted to... Um, Go look over those really quickly to see um, what it was they had they had said that was useful. Um, doo -doo -doo. So this guy was showing me view resources which we use for the Git. Um, Xander was showing me how to wrap a drag and drop library which I plan to use, and then yeah, there's this thing view strap apparently. <laughs> Vince, I'm chatting. You're not seeing it. All right, so apparently I'm doing this wrong. So I'm gonna close out this chat room, try it again. Sorry for anybody who wants to watch me doing actual coding. You're instead watching me learn how to use Twitch as we go. Okay, hi for you, please, so I don't have to hear it, please. Welcome to the chat room. Um, and then pop out and then drag it over here. We're not able to connect a chat. Okay. There we go. All right. So that works. It's kind of terrifying to actually put a chat thing live because that means that people could be, you know, all trolly and everything, but hopefully they'll not do that. So, okay. So let's close this out. So, um, so I had, hello, howdy, howdy, how's it going? So see, so yeah, there's apparently some extension I should be using that like embeds it on my page, but I have no idea. So, all right. So here's one thing that we learned. Um, you can actually change the view delimiters to be uh, square brackets instead of using the at uh, double squiggly, which is what I've been using. Um, I, it actually, I actually kind of like, like using the at. Um, it feels a little weird to use this, but I, I would love to give feedback if people are actually doing it that way. Um, and I, I'd saved it somewhere. I might have to actually stop and pick it up. But basically, somebody had pasted over... Uh, Oh, that's what it was. Okay, so let's do assignment, create your chats behind the video. Yeah, I know. No, it's not, I can't always keep it there. All right, so assignment, create blade PHP. So <clears throat> somebody was talking about this issue and I'd mentioned it in the previous one where I was trying to, um, oh yeah, it was the remove set. And I was struggling with getting remove set working exactly the way I wanted. Um, so there's a method that's remove set and what I was expecting in this context was to be able to basically say this dot sets. Well, I was thinking it was this dot sets. Well, I think I'll do it. First, we'll do it the, the one way. Sets equals uh, underscore dot, what was it, remove, I think. And then it's remove from set, set, something like that. Um, yeah, oh, without. So I was going to do this. And this this is working. This is what I'm doing elsewhere. So I would want, I, I expected to be able to pass in sets to this function. And then to be able to say sets equals, you know, underscore remove set set. Um, and then when we're actually calling remove set, um, I expected to be able to put sets here. And this is the, um, the set template, which means we need to go to a set. And we need to pass in a set dot sync equals sets, right? So in theory, we've now passed in the parent sets, which I believe is available to this. Because um, this is basically, this is a top level thing here. Um, and, oh, chat is behind the video. You mean it was like timeline 15 seconds. Yeah, because it's going to be 15 seconds behind. So that's, that's kind of weird. So I don't, I don't know what to do with that chat thing. I'm just going to, 
Oh, God, honestly, I'm just going to ignore it until somebody gives me some better technology. My apologies. So we have sets. We're working with sets. We're passing in sets to this set. Um, we're using sync to say it's going to be two-way. And let's go into the definition of the set component um, here and make sure that one of its props is sets. It's required. It's two-way. So I assume that that means it's going to be working fine. And so that when we're on the set and we're running remove set, this should work in theory. But I, maybe I just have learned something since then and I didn't realize I've learned something since then, but I was just running into the situation where it wasn't working. I don't know what was going on. Um, and so let's try this. So add a set, so hit delete set. Okay, <laughs> of course, now it works. So I must have just had something configured wrong and didn't totally understand it. Uh, so all the bad things I said about why sets wasn't passing in correctly, I take it all back. Apparently that was actually totally a thing you can do. So now that's making more sense. So let's look at the other things I wanted to do on this. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was autofocus. It really drives me, especially when I'm doing all this work, I spent a lot of time wanting to do autofocus um, on this, and then I want to hit escape and I want to quit out. And I know it's just little things, but it's like, hey, it's something I don't know how to do. Why not learn how to do it? Also, I feel like the add and cancel buttons should be reversed. So let's start with those. Let's go to all of our modals and just swap out the add and cancel button. here, cancel add, model here, cancel add, isn't there a third one? I guess, oh, just add set or add exercise. Okay, cool. So let's try this autofocus thing. So the first thing I wanted to try was, let's try it on the add set one. Um, so add set modal, nope. Maybe I thought that'd be easy. All right, so let's go to here. Add set, what is this? Okay, so I wanted to change this from being show add set modal true equals, and, and to be a show add set modal function. I think you can do it without the calls. Howdy, 15 seconds ago or 15 seconds in the future, however this lag thing is working. Um, so we're in the global right now. We're not uh, We're not in a component, so that means I assume I'm going to add show add set modal. It's taken me a little while to get my brain in the right space of just knowing off the top of my head where is the thing going in the hierarchy. And it'll probably help when I have them separated out to separate components rather than having them all live in this one massive file, and that probably should be what I do next. So show add set modal function. So the first thing we want to do is this dot show add set modal equals true. That's, so at this point, all we should be doing is ensuring that hitting add set did what it did before, and it doesn't. <laughs> so let's see what we're getting here. Okay, show add set modal function value got false. Okay, so. This is where we run into add click equals show add set modal. Do I do this? Does that teach it it's a function? <laughs> okay, cool. Show dot add set modal is not a function. Okay, so this is where we learn about how little I actually know about what I'm doing. We're not in a component or whatever. We're in the top level thing, which is this, right? View, data, methods. There is a show add set modal function available in methods. I did spell it correctly and it's a function. It's on the methods parameter, which makes me assume that I would be able to bind click to show add set modal. But then when I run it, it says that's an uncaught type error script of show add set modal. See, this is what happens when you live code in something you have no idea what you're doing. It's somebody, somebody said, oh, so we basically have to watch you flail live. That's exactly what's going on here. I have no idea what I'm doing. So it's, oh, you know what? Check it out. We have show add set modal as a um, data and as a thing. Uh, so that may end up being, so I'll come up with a better name later. Let's just call it show uh, add set modal function. <laughs> and uh, just to define, just for us to understand whether it's a thing. It's probably true because these are probably returning JavaScript objects, right? So you're probably in the end getting something like show add set modal and defining it twice. And it could be true, false, that could be not it at all. But that's my hypothesis. Bam, that's what it was. So we need to, um, my gut says show add set modal should actually be a function name and this should be something else. Um, probably like um, add set modal visible or something like that. Um, I do have spacers in my doc. It is uh, life hacker. Just Google that right there. Easily add spacers to your max doc. It's amazing. Um, so really what I'm changing here is uh, 
it's not really a function. A function name would be something like this. It's like a command, show at set modal. This is really like a toggle, is set modal visible? Got to that that's exactly what I'm doing. So add set modal visible is false. And then here we're gonna say this to be add set modal visible equals true. Um, and then now it's a more appropriately named thing. So thing we learned today, don't name your methods and your properties the same thing, it makes sense. Okay, great, so oh, show add type check failed for view show equals show at set modal. Did we not just solve this? This must have broken something when I was paying attention. Oh, right here. Show at set modal, add set modal visible. Yep. Look at all these places. I should have made sure I was actually checking this thing I was changing. <laughs> All right, so there and there, and then this is add set modal visible. So it should just be the function. Great. Okay, cool. All right, it's functioning correctly. Um, let's make sure that when we do this, it hides. Okay, cool. Great. Um, so the next thing we want to do is toggle a um, focus on this. So I remember seeing something along the lines of in some stack overflow thing that you just overflow thing. You can basically not just set a model on this, but you can also do something, and I'll have to look it up in a second. But it was something like VL or something like that equals, you know, and so I'm just going to call it ABCDE just to learn this. And then there's something along the lines of when you're actually doing your method definition, you say something like this dot double dollar sign dot ABCDE dot focus. The likelihood this works is going to be pretty much zero, but what the heck, we're just going to try it. Yep, okay. Cannot read property ABCDO, I'm fine. So um, this is where we run into, uh, I have to remember what I Googled to get there. Let's see, what did we Google to get there? Um, it was something along the lines of Vue.js uh, focus field. There we go. <clears throat> and look, I've been here before. Yeah, VL equals and then something, and then they're trying to focus on it. And so if I remember this correctly, um, and this what might be happening here is this might be pre 1.0. Oh, self dot, I don't even know what, self is normally just something you cache this as to avoid if, if problems, but maybe self is something that's magical within Vue.js. So let's just try self and just see what happens. I kind of expected to say self is not defined, but you know, just, the rule is randomly type in things that you read on Stack Overflow and they're just gonna work for you, you know? Yeah, so we've got the self dot double do dollar sign. Oh yeah, it, right, right above it, right? So there's no reason that you should have to do that, but you know, what the hey? If this is a weird JavaScript hoisting this thing, this should this this and what I had before should never be any different if they're called immediately after each other. But you know, you live and you learn. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's not doing anything. So there's some concept of this VL um, where you're doing, at least in the old one, they're doing self dot double dollar score dot the name of the thing. And you can see they're setting input field by doing this. VL equals, you know, input field or whatever. Um, so let's see if they have anything else. This dot L's. Oh, are you just making that up or you actually know that from somewhere? <laughs> I guess we'll learn, won't we? Yeah, you're just making that up too. Okay. So my temptation at this point is to like come in and console log self dot double. Um, this is probably the wrong way to do it, but I'm just gonna try. I just feel like when I've got at least a little bit of a hint here, I'm gonna try with it. And this is what we call flailing. Interesting. Now it's probably throwing the air and then quitting out there. Yeah, undefined. That's not a thing. So let's see if we can just find anything in the actual Vue.js docs about um, VL. Accessing Vue HTML elements through VM VL. This is July 26, which was before 1.0 existed. So I'm still kind of concerned about this. Okay, so this is data, fields, new field. VL is a literal director of plain string. Not really the problem, not the answer, and that's the stack overflow. Um, well, I was, but the problem is that in the end, they still, I thought they still ended up doing this. But let's, we can't take like, that's this to edit task and view on. Do you want to double click edit task this? Oh, pal, hoisting this through like that makes me, makes me nervous. But, let, you know, what the heck, we'll try it. What the heck, why not? Um, I'm 
my son apparently just woke up. I can hear him in the background. So I might be dipping out early. Let's see. Okay, so this person, when somebody's triggering this event, they're actually passing in this. I don't know what the context of this is, and then they're calling the double dollar sign on this at that point. So we're on show at set model. So what the hey? Let's just look at it, see what this provides for us. Um, it seems super unlikely to, to me that this is actually going to work, but we're going to try it. Because we're, we're, we're thrashing here. So um, this is context. I don't even know what it is. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually getting the view instance. So I, let's see if we, oh, see, we do have that dot else. You weren't just making that up. That actually is a thing. <laughs> so that would make it much more likely that it was indeed self dot else. Um, I, I don't know why we care about maybe, uh, what is the, what is, what is this in this context? all this learning we're doing. Yeah, I mean, they're the same thing. That's what I, I don't understand what the point of passing in the context here is when we actually already have access to the context in our method. There must be some, some context there that I was missing. So let's look at this dot L's and see if we're actually getting anything useful. It's an empty object. Yeah. Uh, Okay, we're going to go back to where I was going before, which is we're actually going to go to the Vue.js documentation and see if we can just find the string VL in here. Um, there's a guide. If that doesn't work, we're just going to quit on the um, on this whole focusing thing and worry about something else. I feel like this is not a particularly useful <laughs> search result right now. <laughs> we're just getting every page that's on the entire website. All right, cool. Aha, uh -huh. look at what you did for me. <laughs> oh, that's the API. So the problem is the API documentation tells us that the thing exists, but, oh, see also VL. Uh -huh. All right, register to reference the DOM element on its owner view instance L's for easier access. Oh, so you know what? Let's try something real quick. I would bet you that the problem we're running into here is actually the fact that it's a, the modal. So let's just try a thing real quick. V to L equals my magic line break. That could be the, the issue we're running into here. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, or that's not the thing we're running into. <laughs> All right, then we can try it. Let's just let's just try this this thing. See if we get something. Yeah, just getting empty object. Just I'm not getting VL doing us any any use. Okay, so let's let's let, oh check this out. It's syntax is different. Somebody who knew this is gonna watch this later and be like, how long did it take you to just read the freaking documentation? It's a story of my life, by the way. Uh huh. Look at it. My magic line break. It's a thing. So now. Let's figure out how many of the unnecessary things or really unnecessary. I think magic pants is going to be. Actually, let's keep this one in here. All right, magic pants 2.0 exists. It's notice it's dropping my camel, camel casing. I've noticed that quite a few times. So if you are new to view, you might want to check this out. There is a lot of context in which you do a camel case. And then when it's actually being parsed in, it's being um, shrunk down. I kind of want to think that what it does is it, it maybe converts um, the hyphens or whatever. Let's just see. And then it camel cases it from there maybe. Yep, that's what it is. So if you want camel casing in the end, you've got to use hyphens in this syntax, which makes sense. It's kind of weird to have camel casing in um, in your HTML attributes. And you can see I did that here. I wanted available as available exercises camel case. So I went to available dash exercises to get it in the same way I wanted it. So that makes sense. Okay, cool. So we don't have to hoist this. Uh, there's no magic we have to do. Um, 
So let's see if I was right and modal might be a part of our problem. I still am concerned that this is going to get set on the modal rather than on here. Um, but I, I do remember that finding that things I expected in here to be considered a child of the modal, because they were defined in this greater context as a like a slot being passed in, they instead were referenced in the context of like the global the parent component, which at this point is the global. So uh, I think I probably need to do a little bit of learning on that. Um, so if I'm right in remembering that, that will actually work correctly. There you go, A, B, C, D, E. So just for the heck of it, let's actually go into the modal template and see if an, a VL here shows up. I kind of think it won't because it's not in the right context. Yep, it won't. So the if you're doing these VLs inside of a component, it won't work. The only reason I'm able to do it inside the modals here is because the definition of these pieces of content that we're slotting in is made up here, and view thinks of it as being up here and not within the modal. So learning as we go. So great, we now have show add set modal, and it now has access to this A, B, C, D, E. So let's talk about what this actually is. This is add set um, repetitions. It's such a hard word to spell input. So my thought is I go here and I say this dot else dot add set repetitions input. And I'm expecting that to be that thing. And if so, then I can hopefully focus it. <laughs> Check us out. Come on, if it's this e well, easy. Oh darn it. So this was my concern is that something about the way this works, you can't focus on it until it exists. And so that this thing here, or one of these, I think Evan actually, Evan, the guy who wrote review actually answered on at least one of these and talked about there's an animation cycle of some sort. Here, this was, was thank you, Evan. He's talking about the fact that, um, and apparently this does, oh yeah, well, I, see, I understand doing VR self as this before you're dealing with a, with a, um, with a, an honest function. That totally makes sense. But when you're not dealing with an honest function, it doesn't actually make sense to do it because var self exists and then doing something in the next line, you don't need to hoist anything anywhere. But in here you do because all of a sudden there's a different context of this within here than there is outside of it. Totally got it. So there's this concept of next tick which apparently has to do with the rendering syntax or the rendering whatever. I don't think this modal is inside of a um, an if. I felt like it exists and it's just hidden. So I'm actually kind of skeptical that this is going to work. But let's just try it real quick. So we're going to do this next, next tick thing. Um, so we're going to come in here and we're going to say, hey, view, um, wait until the next tick, um, you and your two spaces, um, which keeps the context for you. Okay, well, let's do that. Thank you, YX10007. Um, next, next tick, uh, anonymous function. And then this L's. Add set, blah, 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 focus, console, log, hey, I ran and stuff. Oops, keep that. Oh, look at the beauty, look at the beauty. It just worked. It was so glorious. But we don't even need this because it's hoisting the context. I'm saying hoisting. I don't know if that's always the right word, but look at us in our autofocus. Although add and cancel are still not set up the way I wanted it. I don't know how that happened. Is one of them pulled right, maybe? Yeah, one of them's probably pulled right. Yes, this view modal default button thing is pulled right, success. Uh -huh. So what I really need to do is drop that and then pull right on this. Let's try if that's, there we go, that feels better. And then let's go into the other add. Um, and drop this and pull right on this. All right, so in theory, add, that works, add exercise, adds in the right place. All right, so this is a little harder because I don't even know if it really makes sense to, well, you know, let's focus on the exercise anyway. What the heck? So exercise right here, this is what we want out of focus. Let's give it an L, V, L. Let's try to use the same naming convention we did earlier, which is what, add set, Repetitions input, so we want add exercise name input, and then we want to change the button from show add exercise modal to true to instead, well, first of all, let's change that everywhere to um, the same naming convention, which was 
add exercise modal visible. And then in here, instead of click on that, we're going to say show exercise modal. And then this right here, on this one, we're going to go to methods and we're going to have a show exercise modal function. And then it's going to set this.add exercise modal visible to true. And then it's also going to do all that same fancy focusing, which is next tick function this.ls. What was it named? Add exercise name input, maybe? Yes. Focus. See if I actually remembered that all correctly. Add set autofocuses. <clears throat> Add exercise does not autofocus. I did next tick. Thank you. Timing is perfect. Nope, cannot read copy focus. Add exercise name. Okay, this dot else. Nope. Thank you. See, look at you guys. Your all your answers are showing up exactly the right time even though it's 15 minutes delayed or 15 seconds delayed, 15 repetitions, add exercise, bam, look at that. Look at this, we are a team. All right, I don't know if I have that one. I do have that one set up. I don't want you guys seeing all my other repos, so sorry. So I'm pretty sure all we did here was, yeah, so auto focus, um, mo uh, assignment, Create um, first fields on the pop up or something like that. Okay, cool. Um, so, the last thing I'm going to do, and I think we're going to run out of time, is I'm going to see if I can bind the listening and the escape key. Um, and I've been thinking about it for a while, and I think there's two ways I would consider doing it to, to close the modal. So, I think there's two ways I'd consider doing it. One of them is um, binding it on the modal itself, like just to see if I could just do a listener here. Um, but the, and, and then, but, but it would have to be only listening when they're toggling all that kind of stuff. The other thing I was thinking about doing, and this might be crazy, is just doing some kind of global listener that says, hey, anytime we're in here, um, just listen to the escape and set all the modals to show modal you know, properties to, to false. I feel like that's the wrong way to do it because every time you add a new modal, you have to add a new one to that list. So I'll probably decide against it. But I just want to start there maybe. Um, so the first thing I'm just trying to remember is what is the, okay, at key up. So I'm wondering, just for starters, let's just kind of like learn this as we go. Can we just go to like the app itself, bind a key up, see if there's this, and then like, you know, the likelihood this works. I kind of remember this not working. I don't know if you can do key up just on a thing. It kind of makes me think you have to do it, you know, on, on like an input. So I'm, and I have no idea if ESC is one of the ones because it's like only a few that actually get a, a comfortable little, you know, convenience method here. So this is 90% sure not gonna work. Just, just so we're all on the same page. So I'm gonna click in here, hit escape, does nothing, who's surprised? All right, so <laughs> now let's actually go to the documentation. Um, to remember where the key modifiers. Um, yeah, so you can do that in, you can definitely do it on input. ESC is correct, look at me. I just kind of don't think that's actually how they're expecting it to work. But let's just, let's just see if this is the problem. Log me. Closing escape. It's not a bootstrap um, modal, so that wouldn't work. Oh, look, check it out. Yatta, 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 but then it stopped. Interesting. It works when you're an in input, but it doesn't work. So, okay, so if you key up, do a key up listener on the global thing, every single input will have that binding now. So let's try and go to another one. Do we get yatta on here? Yes, we do. But it doesn't bind it when you're not focused on one of those, which totally makes sense. And the indication I'm getting there is this is not the right way to do it. 
My gut says totally outside of this, just like in ready. Um, I just want to do a binding. So let's just try that. Um, so JavaScript keyboard event listener. So I always forget how to do this directly. So I always do this. Um, and then you've got a, I feel like there's a cleaner way to do it than that. Let's just try that and just see if this works. Um, and then you look up your key codes. Um, Stack Overflow Driven Development. Ooh, there's Coyer. Making me sad here, buddy. 27. So, again, probably not going to work. Make sure we don't have any other Yatas. Yeah, we still have Logly. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> I love my life. So my guess is we can now say this dot close all modals. Um, the problem is, hmm, this is tough. All of them are at different places. It almost feels like I need to do one of these binders on all of them, which I don't like the idea. Well, no, I kind of do like the idea because the behavior that we're binding is only specific to that component. Actually, that that actually feels much cleaner. So I'd actually do this, and I basically do one of these in every single modal, and so, or every single one that has a modal. So this one has a modal. Oh, mm, yeah, no, yeah, let's try that. So this one has a modal, um, which is and I'll just have to do that to exercise. I mean, it's, there's only two modals, so it's not like it's this really painful thing or something. Let's do the same thing here, this dot close modal. And then methods, we're just going to add a closed modal. I wonder how people organize their methods. I'm kind of thinking that I might alphabetize. And then um, this dot add exercise modal visible is false. And then I think that might be it. Um, I'm wondering if window dot and key if is one of those things where if you bind it in one, it overrides the one in the other. I really hope not. I really, really hope. We have to like build a thing that allows us to continually like add to this over and over. I also think that needs a some time. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see if this works. Oh, this dot close model is not a function. Okay, so this definitely has one. I wonder what this is. But let's see if <laughs> I love my life. Look at what we look at what we just did together. All right. So my primary user experience gripes were the escape key not working. Oh, it didn't work this time. Interesting. What is going on? That's weird. What did we change that made it stop working? Huh, so the moment we got into this one and used this one, this one no longer works. I really do think it might be one of those overriding things where if you're clear contents and escape, yeah, we should do that eventually. Good note. Um, it's one of those things where, it, see, we're setting this to be a function, which means that there's, if you're setting it to be a function again later, you're overriding it. It feels to me like window down and key up should be something that we can like uh, uh, progressively add to so we can have multiple listeners. But at that point, I feel like we're having to build like a, so here's, when I think about that, I think of um, something like this. So there's like a var um, escape listeners equals uh, self-executing anonymous function. Um, and it's going to return a few things. It's going to return um, a, I don't even know what we'd call it. 
like a method that says trigger. Uh, so we'll just call it that for now. And then it would we would have like an add listener, which is add listener. So what we're seeing here is basically there's a um, global thing called escape listeners that I expect to be like an event binder basically. And I, again, I don't feel like this isn't right, but this is the only answer I have right now. So what we do is basically have a registry in here, which is listeners, it's an empty array. And then we'd have a var add listener equals function listener. And then we'd have var trigger equals function. And trigger in pseudocode would just say basically for each listener in listeners, run it. And then this would say add past listener into this dot listeners. So that's kind of what I'm thinking because at that point then we can bind window down key up once like this. Let me say window dot on key up equals function e and then we say if it's escape then we say escape listeners dot trigger that's it um, and then it passes the responsibility in here to iterate over all these listeners that we bound and then up here we would bind them I'm just nervous because once you bind callbacks into here that are like referencing the the view object into this thing that's outside of view I'm like nervous about wanting into a weird confusing this circumstances but I figured what the heck why don't we just try it and see what happens so um, let's do it I, I can never remember in JavaScript whether this is one of those things where you have to make sure to define it above this or not so we're gonna keep it and then see if we get an error so let's go to our first one so we're going to drop this and instead we're gonna say escape listeners dot what was it called? Add listener, add listener, and then we have a listener, and we're gonna hoist. Again, I think I'm using that word right. We're gonna hoist this in. And we're gonna say self uh, dot close modal. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to get at uh, escape listeners is not defined error, but maybe not. Hmm. Oh yeah, because I actually have written the code. <laughs> Let's just check this. Hmm. So oh, trigger is being called correctly but add listener is not being called. So why not escape listeners dot add listener function ready. Pretty sure this is being called. Why are we not getting, oh, cause it's not happening until I should create a set. There you go, add listener called. Okay, great. All right, that's good to know. Uh, you don't have to create a set before the set ready run gets run. <laughs> so, all right, so now we need to bind this in. So I think it's just as simple as this dot listeners dot push listener. I don't think we have to do anything else. And then I think this is for for listener in listeners uh, listener like that. I think can't you just register multiple? Yeah, you might be able to. That's what I'm saying. There, there, I feel like there should be a way for this. See, the thing is, I could have Googled, but instead, I'm building it all myself because uh, that's what smart people do. So <laughs> I'm going to finish building this, but let's Google window.add event listener. Look at this. See, this is them building exactly the thing that I'm talking about here. Uh, so you're smart. I'm dumb. Thank you, Kaylin. Um, so I'm going to finish building this because I'm a masochist. <laughs> Good, I think I'm done. And then if it works, then we'll basically undo this. Although it is kind of, I kind of like it, but yeah, no reason on redoing something. If you redo something that everybody else has done already, then you're just making things confusing. So, so clearly we can't bind this one in the set because, oh yeah, because we're, we're not bringing that in set. It's getting a little late for my brain, people. 
this is ring from set self dot close modal. Right, because this is closing the exercise modal. So we haven't actually even gotten there yet. So let's go to the exercise modal. Do not read property push because it's not this dot listeners, it's just listeners. Okay. So what did we expect here? Yeah, I'm lost. I'm lost in my own ridiculous contraption here. So let's try this. Let's go to this. And instead of this, let's just do window dot add event listener. I assume that that the what we're talking about is window dot add list uh, is keyboard events. Pretty old familiar things. I'm guessing there's going to be a click. Oh, and then you do key up. Okay, here's our function event. And I theory we can do self dot close model. So let's just try this being the case. Um, unless you are are they ready? It was so fun building that though.